the recycling center was located high in the city's industrial level. The place was filthy, noisy, and smelled terrible. If I was right about the tracker, then I'd find lead here somewhere. But what was he doing with Graham in a place like this? Some of the trash was marked with the logo of Asio City. Ah! What? Who are you? Whoa! Hello. What do you want? You security? No. I'm looking for a guy called Leet. Well, you just found him. Leads the name, takes the game. What can I do for you today? It's about a friend of mine, a guy called Graham. I think you know him. I'm looking for some information. What sort of information? I need to know what he was doing here. Listen, pal, I can barely remember my own name. Let alone every Tom, Dick and Graham that comes through here. I'll have to check my records. Sure. But, oh... My heat! What's up? Are you okay? Ah, oh, my bleeding noggin! Need my medicine! Your medicine? Aye! My medicinal moonshine! It's over in the other building. Take this and fill it to the top. Then bring it back here. And you'll check your records? I will. You can trust me, pal. An unspoken deal had been made. Leet wanted his moonshine. I wanted information. A model unicorn had been made out of plasticine. I wouldn't have touched that, pal. Not if you know what's good for you. It was a rubber fish. Mysterious Leet stood before me. He reeked of alcohol. Hey, Leet. Found anything on Graham yet? Nothing yet. Hurry up with that moonshine. Medicine. I'm running on fumes here. It's restricted. You should not be here. It looked like the stun droid was guarding the whole process. To get to Leet's moonshine, I needed to find a way to disable the droid. Away with you. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. It was a scrappy security droid with a vicious looking stun unit. This area is not safe for you. Five. Four. You shall not pass.
It was a rusty old locker. The rickety conveyor was feeding trash into a crusher. It was a vicious looking crusher. Surprisingly, the drive cogs were exposed. It looked like the control panel for the conveyor belt and the crusher. I preferred my pork unpulled. Well, that had thrown a wrench in the works. Or to be more precise, a crowbar. My crowbar was jamming the crusher. The conveyor belt jolted to life, then clunked and came to an abrupt stop. was nicely stuck in the crusher. The whole mechanism was toast. How's your head? Tis but a scratch! This is your fault. I'll do you for that. You're trapped in an industrial crusher. I'm invincible! No, you're defective. I had to admire the droid's spirit. But it was defeated. The droid was no longer a threat. It was my crowbar. struck by a wave of heat and burnt plastic. A blazing furnace lit the room, fed by a series of pipes leading into the roof. The flames from the furnace were fierce. The furnace was too hot for me to get any closer. The main ingredient of Leet's moonshine appeared to be spangles. It was a rusty tap for dispensing the moonshine.
can't waste that precious moonshine. Although it would certainly kill off any bacteria on the Mini-K, I doubted it would improve the taste. I filled the bottle to the top. I hope that would encourage Lee to help me. Hi there, Leet. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. It was away with the fairies there. Any progress with my moonshine? You're in luck. I've got it right here. I knew that old security droid wasn't up to much. He won't be bothering you anymore. Good man. Now give me that bottle. So, what do you want to know? So what's the deal with that security droid? Nasty old rust bucket. Wouldn't he let me near my booze? Any more of them around? Not that I know of. I can celebrate now. Got a good stash of booze ready to go. Simple things, eh? I'm afraid I've got some bad news about our friend Graham Grundy. Yeah? What's that? Well, he's dead. Dead? Oh, nuts. Damn shame. He was a lovely guy. Lovely. So I hear. Anyway, I'm borrowing his ID. You are? And uh, how's that working out for you? Not great. I'm having some technical problems. Well, you've come to the right fella. Did Graham ever mention anything about kidnappings or conspiracies? Oh, no. Nothing like that. No? Then what did he keep coming here for? Oh, you know. The usual. The usual? YouTube issues, technical problems, custom hacks, you name it. What do you have on record about Graham? That's supposed to be confidential. But I guess I can trust you. He just came for the usual YouTube stuff. Off the radar, custom mods, you know. Do you know anything about missing children? No. I've been tracking a child across the gap, and the trail ends here, in the city. Can he help you? You can't? I'm sure Graham was connected somehow. Hang on. Did you say you were in the gap? How did you even get into the city? Well, I got one of those visitor U-chips. You've got a visitor U-chip? Yeah. So? Is that why you came to see old Leet? Kinda. I'm having some issues with my U-chip. Can you help? You bet. It's what I do. Well, there's a weird security flag on Graham's ID. Maybe that's why I can't access his messages. Oh? And every time someone scans my U-chip, they notice the error. A mentor from the Ministry of Well-Being is investigating it right now. You what? And you came here! You know they can track those things, right? I, uh, guess. We need to get that flag removed immediately. This could bring down my entire operation. Right. What do you need me to do? Quick! Get your hand on my workbench, now! Lead. I need to talk more about Graham. Fella, plenty of time to chat after I've fixed your U-chip problem. But right now, you're a walking, talking liability to my entire business. 
Get your hand on my workbench. There's a U-chip reader. It was a clamp like the one Ember had on her bench, probably for U-chip hacking. Why is it so tight? Just stop you getting away, you idiot! What's the cleaver for? What do you think? One more u chip for my trade, and two more thumbs for my collection. Now hold still, while I focus on your weak digits. I had to think fast. There had to be something within reach that I could use. Huh. Usually uh, it takes a bit of flim flam to get someone to part with a u chip. But you just walk straight in. That's the thing about u chips. They're incredibly valuable to the right people. Remember, fish just bounced off the guy's face. Oh, you're not worried. Don't be. I've done this before. Many times, in fact. I smashed the bottle over the guy's head. Egypt! Nobody's ever got the best of Jimmy the Thumbs until now. So, you aren't lead then. I never said I was. Oh, yes, you did. You maniac. Everyone's got to have a hobby. What's wrong with stamp collecting? They call me Jimmy the Thumbs, pal. Not Jimmy the Philatelist. Thumbs? That's what you're after? And the U-chips. But mostly the Thumbs. What do you even do with them? Just collect them. I like the approval they give me. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're crazy. Now, tell me where to find Leet. The real Leet. He's hiding out. In a place too hot for the likes of you. Folks call it the... <coughs> Hellfire Club. Save your riddles, Jimmy. <coughs> and with that, Jimmy passed out. Looked like I have to find the real Leet on my own. I wasn't going to get anything more out of Jimmy for a while. He passed out, which was probably for the best. Time to find the real Leet. It was a nasty looking cleaver. It was a strange smell of almonds. I realized what the unicorn was made out of. Plastic explosive. Crazy Drunk had mentioned the Hellfire Club, and I could just see a ladder behind the flames. The gas that had been flowing through the pipes was clearly powering the furnace.
exhaust pipe looked like it fed the furnace below. It was covered in warnings, highly explosive. It was controlled by a rusty looking valve. The wheel was long since broken. I couldn't turn the valve off this way. The valve controlled the flow of gas to the furnace below. sign was an anchor held by a hastily fastened cable. It had seen better days. A badly tied cable held the anchor sign to a support beam. I slid the crowbar under the cable, though I wasn't sure what I hoped to achieve. no way of detonating the C4. had been cracked by the falling anchor. Gas was leaking out. The sign was no longer a hazard, but the gas sure was. The light fitting had been ripped from the wall and the bulb smashed. some sort of fuse box or switchboard. The box was corroded and wouldn't open. It was a heavy-duty throw switch. Char grilling a mini K was not a good idea. A lump of C4 was wedged into the socket. is now blocked by a very large flame. Flames had died down, but the smell of burning waste still filled the air.
Behind the furnace, I could now see a ladder leading up to a room. The furnace was now off. Are you all right? Late! <laughs> late! 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 Oh! Is that the... Uh, what? A Shreeman port? Let me guess. Late? Late! Yeah, yeah. Hold your bill, be poppy. Grown-ups are talking. Now, you. Why are you pretending to be Graham Grundy? How do you know that? My system flags every U-chip that walks through that door. And you are not Graham. Correct. Is he dead? Yes. Did you kill him? No. I just borrowed his ID. Mm. I see. Okie dokie then. Start talking. Why all this attention on my Shreeman port? Because, man, it's a Shreeman port! Do you have any idea how rare that is? Still regret having mine out. See? How do I know you're really Leet? Said I was, didn't I? The last guy I met told me he was Leet, and that didn't end well. Ah, that'd be Jimmy. He tried to cut off my thumbs. Sounds like Jimmy. Deep down, he means well. So what's your deal, Leet? Technical genius, ethical hacker, outlaw, fashion guru. Whatever you want to call it, I stay off the grid. Hiding from something? Me and Union City had a little oh, disagreement a few years back. And we'll leave it at that. Who's the girl? Her name's Poppy. She's a Gaplander. Graham brought her here. Told me he'd found her wandering around somewhere. Like... kidnapping? Jeez! Who said anything about kidnapping? No. He was trying to help her. He thought she might be... connected. Connected to what? Everything. Or... maybe nothing. Well, that narrows it down. Listen, pal. Graham had a loop, and he kept me out of it. Why does Poppy laugh all the time? Weird, huh? It's like someone turned the appy knob all the way up to eleven, and then snapped it off. Graham never talked about it? Like I said, me and Graham had a strictly need-to-know relationship. So Graham just left you with Poppy? He said it'd only be for a day. Didn't turn out that way. Poor kid. Someone had to look after her. Guess that's me now. Okay, so what's your connection to Graham Grundy? Graham? Oh, he was just an... acquaintance. How do you know about me and him, anyway? Graham's wife mentioned you by name. She what? And I suppose she told you where to find me? No, that bit was easy. I just used the tracker. Whoa! A tracker? Yes, a toy tracker. In that Bilby. Bilby! Songbird's Bilby had somehow ended up in the young girl's hands. Oh, Graham! You amateur! Sounds like he was more than just an acquaintance. All right. I did know him. I'm the genius who put the mask demon and the data blocker on his ID. I took in the girl when he brought her to me when I knew I shouldn't have. Bilby Toy Tracker. 
Stupid, stupid, soft-hearted, stupid Graham. I'm looking for a boy called Milo. He was kidnapped two nights ago. I tracked him here, to Union City. Hey, Poppy! You know a boy called Milo? <laughs> Bilby! Not Bilby! Milo! Ah, forget it. You really don't know any more about her? Hey, I'm just the babysitter. Didn't Graham ever explain where he found Poppy? Graham didn't ever explain anything. Like I said, he was supposed to come back for the girl a couple of weeks ago. You haven't heard anything about missing children. Other than Poppy, I haven't heard squat. You said you put a data blocker on Graham's ID. Yes, but a fat lot of good it does when you tell everybody about me. Hey, Graham? Why did Graham want his own data blocked? Hell if I know. I run a tech service, not a chat show. He wanted two things from me. First was something to hide his own data from. Prying eyes. And the second thing? A way out of the city. Just for a day. Being an absolute bleeding genius, I manage both. Hence the mask demon. Okay, so if I want to find out what's going on here, I need to get rid of Graham's data blocker, yes? Yes. Can you remove it? Oh, yes. But no. Graham's little disappearing act has totally messed with my mojo. Whole new level of security has been added to the Minos Gateway. I can't get in without my mask demon triggering every damn security protocol ever invented. Can't get rid of my mask demon without getting in. Basically, I'm saying Minos is out and it's a link space thing. You wouldn't understand. Is removing this data blocker complicated? Nothing's complicated if you've got the tools for the job. And you, sir, have got the tools for the job. You're talking about my Shreebman port? Exactly. All our problems solved by that glorious hole in the back of your head. You remember Link Space? Yes, finally. I was beginning to think I was the only one in this city with a brain. That said, you may be the only one in the city with a Shreebman port. Which means, oh ho ho, today might turn out to be a good day after all. Let me show you something. Follow me. Is that a link chair? It absolutely is. And I suppose you want me to sit in it. You've got a problem with your ID. I've got a problem with mine. The solution to both our problems lies in Minos. But thanks to Graham's selfish inability to not die, I can't access the system. So how do we get in? Via link space. There's a back door into Minos. Now, I'm the only man in this city with a functioning link space chair. And today, the only man in the world with a functioning Shreedman port walks through my back door. I need you to do this. You need you to do this. Poppy needs you to do this. The universe needs you to do this. The data blocker on Graham's account was stopping me finding out more about him. It sounded like Leet really could help me get rid of it. I needed to do what he said. Poppy? Bilby! Are you okay? Bilby! Yes, that's a Bilby, all right. Where did you come from? Bilby! Yes, that's a Bilby, all right. Is Lee taking good care of you? <laughs> Poppy's constant laughter was beginning to get to me. How did you end up at Lee's place? I had the distinct feeling that I wasn't going to get many answers out of Poppy. Were you kidnapped from the Gap? 
Poppy's constant laughter was beginning to get to me. What's that you got there? Bilby! <laughs> Can I hold your Bilby? No! Good luck with that one, mate. That Bilby belongs to a friend of mine. Bilby! I know you're really attached to it. Bilby! But you see, a very spoiled middle-aged woman from the lower levels wants it back. Bilby! You're right. I'm gonna start over. Can I please have the Bilby? No, 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 no. I think that's a no. Bye, Poppy. Bye, bye. Would you like a can of Spankles, Poppy? Spankles! No way. I'm having a hard enough time shutting her up as it is. called a mini K. Do you want it? Uh. No one wants it. Hey, Poppy. I'm a social climber. Are you really bragging to a little girl? man stank of smoke. So you need me to reach Minos through Link Space? Correct. Ready to strap in? I've got a few more questions. Oh, come on, man. Leet wants his Minos back. How does this Shreveman port work again? I told you. It interfaces the network directly with your brain. You will manifest inside the system with some form of avatar, and then... Then? You'll figure it out. Now, let's fire this thing up. I'm excited to see if it still works. Ready? Remind me, what exactly is Link Space? Oh... New Union City runs on Minos. It connects all the machines and droids and doors and cameras and terminals and toasters. Minus was built on top of Link-1, a beautiful little AI network spread across the old Union City. This old Shreedman port is Link-1 technology. Good, old-fashioned, reliable hardware. And Link Space is a virtual representation of Link-1? Exactly. You'll manifest it in your own virtual avatar. Since Minus, Link Space has just been forgotten about. Meaning? Meaning you can slip into Minos through a back door in Link Space. Undetected. Mind if I have a last look around? Suit yourself. But don't touch anything with loose wires. Or anything that looks heavy. Or anything with grease or fluid on it. I'm just not going to touch anything. Probably for the best. Do you like a can of Spankles? The blood of Asio City? Absolutely not. A scrapped robot that looked past its prime. It was some kind of old device for producing electromagnetic radiation. I guess that was Leet's bed. Either that or he had a dog. And again, nobody would let a dog sleep in that. It was another hand scanner. These things were beginning to make me nervous. Would you like a mini knockwurst? Is that one of Wendell's? Sure, is there any other kind? Then I. I take one.
Leech Super Terminal was quite a piece of reclaimed tech. Look, I've got an aspiration brooch. I wouldn't go waving that sort of thing around, up here. It'll get you nothing but a black eye and a toothless grin. I could see a few errors in Leet's calculations, but I doubted he'd appreciate me telling him. It was an old link interface, the height of intrusive tech. Ready now? Yeah, why not? What's the worst that could happen? Oh, ho, ho, buddy, you'd be surprised. Uh, Leet? Relax. You've done this before, right? A long time ago. Hey, it's like riding a bike. First thing you gotta do, make your way through link space to the Minos portal. Is it easy to find? Maybe, maybe not. But Link Space should be completely empty these days. Minos Portal? Then what? Find your way to the ID Data Center. Bring up the accounts of Graham Grundy and Elliot Richardson. Whoa, who's Elliot Richardson? Duh. Elliot. Leet. Gotcha. What's next? Eliminate the mask demons and the data blockers on both our accounts. Piece of pie. Easy as cake. Got it? Go over it again. One more time. I told you. Find and eliminate the mask demons and the data blockers on both our accounts. Yes, but how? Uh-huh. You'll figure it out. You seem like a bright spark. Now, let's fire this baby up. Can't wait to see if she still works, hey? Whoa, still works? What are you... Okay, hold on to your brain. How am I supposed to... I meant figuratively. Now, I had work to do. It seemed that Link Space wasn't going to be the easy route Leet thought it was. The system had been abandoned, but they'd had the wherewithal to leave a firewall. I had to find a way through. The firewall program kept unwanted traffic from progressing to Minos. Encrypted data store. Omni Gaffer, repair spiral damage to network structure. Download complete. Error, data fragmentation at zero percent. Extinguisher temporarily overrides firewall programs for access to mainframe. Download complete. Seemed like just the thing to deal with the firewall.
Relaxing security protocols. The program did the trick. Override shutdown. Virus detected. Or so I thought. The firewall program had detected a virus. Apparently that was enough to send it into overdrive. Data was fragmented. Something told me I was being watched. Counter-intrusion countermeasure. The author does not accept liability for brain damage. The blind program was a short-lived but powerful tool for sneaking through security. I blinded. I didn't need to worry about it frying my brain. I had already blinded the foil. Encryption routine for all standard UCSI coded files. Download complete. I wasn't sure what I'd use it for, but I didn't want to leave it behind. will destroy instances of the Helix virus. Warning, data will be unrecoverable. Download complete. The Helix virus sounded familiar for some reason. was slowly chewing through the data in the area. With the virus expunged from link space, I hoped I'd be able to get into Minos.
encryption program seemed to do the trick. The data had downloaded, probably via my port to Leet's terminal. I'd already downloaded the data. Relaxing security protocols. Firewall shutdown complete. The firewall was down. I could access Minos. data I picked up. Error. Unknown biological agent in core. Intruder detected. Overman chamber. Biomatrix replacement confirmed. Error. 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 Deleting file. Overman.brain. Deleting file. Link control.brain. Upload file. Joey.awesome. Link was going to replace my father's dying brain with mine. If Joey hadn't sat in that chair, it would have gotten me, too. Converting to my NOS data. Please wait. Compatible program found. Retro Fashion Boutique. Order submitted. AI system in charge of this Minos channel. How can I help you today? I'm looking for the ID data center. Am I in the right place? Indeed you are. Citizen identification is under my jurisdiction. Are you having an issue with ID privileges? Can you access some specific citizens? I need to check out the programs running on their IDs. That's easily done. Who would you like to check? Check Graham Grundy and Elliot Richardson. Retrieving. Excellent. Can we delete the programs that are running here? No problem at all. That will of course require administrator approval. Would you like one summoned? No. That's okay. Administrator cancelled. But I can move programs between users. That's right. Ancillary AI systems like yourself do have move access, but no delete or create commands. That gives me something to work with, at least. Thanks, Greta. Happy to help. My avatar was overloaded with the program data. I doubted the smaller ones could support the larger. I needed to arrange them in size order. Greta, you got a minute? How can I help you? Tell me about yourself. I am Greta, AI number 96. I am currently running interface 
General Response Engine, Technical Assistant. My equivalent citizen ID is 5262-62627-2. You have a citizen ID? Yes, an equivalent citizen ID is required to use the Minos Mail Communication Network. So, what am I looking at here? The ID Data Center is responsible for storing all information on UCHIP ID usage. Programs attached to an individual's ID can be modified and moved around. But creation and deletion of those is outside the scope of my AI. So what do these programs do? Oh, all sorts of things. Usually correcting erroneous data or flagging them for other ministries. The programs can be moved between citizens of interest, depending on current requirements. Requesting new programs or deleting them are actions restricted to administrators. Bye. Keep up the good work. Greta, you got a minute? My time is infinite. Tell me about yourself. I am unknown data. I am currently running interface redacted. My equivalent citizen ID is nothing to see here. Are you all right? Honestly, I do not know. Bye. I hope you found my cooperation satisfactory. I doubted the smaller ones could support the larger. I needed to arrange them in size order. the programs running on leets and my own ID. Command, save changes. Changes saved. Beginning propagation to external servers. <laughs> 